Hello students, I am Vidya from GK Jain School. Now I am going to teach you about skeleton system from class 8. Our skeletal system provides framework structure to the body. It also support our body. It provides support and protection to our internal body parts. And this skeleton system is made up of bone, cartilage, tendon and ligaments. So this is bones. So as we know already there are 206 bones are present in our body. These bones are joined by the uh, tendons and ligaments these type of connective tissues. So tendon and ligaments are the connective tissues which connects the two bones together. So all the 206 bones which are present in our body are joined together by the connective tissues. So here this tendon is a fibrous cord like structure which connect bone to muscle. So that is what I mentioned the BTM. Wait a minute. That is what I mentioned here. M T B that means T means tendon. So this connective tissues, tendon uh, connective tissues which connect muscle to the bone. Okay, it is a connective tissues which connect muscle to the bone. And another one is ligaments. Ligaments also fibrous core like structure which connect bone to bone. It act as a bridge to connect bone to bone. Okay. So yeah. It is acting like a bridge to connect bone to bone. See this cartilage is a soft. They are not uh, that much rigid. They are soft in nature. Which is present in our tip of the nose and in our ear. So you can fold your hand. Uh, you can fold your ear. Because the cartilage is present inside the ear. This cartilage is soft in nature. They are flexible. They are not that much uh, rigid like bones. These bones are very rigid in nature. They are strong. So the skeletal system is made up of bones, cartilage, tendon and ligaments. Okay. Then exoskeletal system. In some of the organisms have exoskeletal system. What is mean by exoskeletal system? The bones originate from the embryonic ectoderm. See, all living organisms consist three layers. One is ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. Ectoderm is the external layer. Mesoderm is the middle layer. And endoderm is the internal layer. So here the exto ectoderm become a hair, nail, skin and nerves. Okay. Our nail and uh, skin and hair. So all these parts are originate from the layer of ectoderm. And mesoderm that means a middle layer. It become Skeletal system, lungs and muscular system. So that skeletal system originate from the mesoderm. And endoderm, it is an internal layer. This internal layer becomes liver, pancreas and digestive system. So liver and uh, pancreas are the uh, organs which are present in the digestive system. These parts are made by this it's originate from the endoderm layer okay so in the exoskeletal system if the bones are originate from the embryonic endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm means that is called as a exoskeletal system okay for the example tortoise snail and uh, birds have bones on their outside of the body that means the bones are originate from the embryonic ectoderm or mesoderm in this type of organisms. So that is what called as a exoskeleton. And endoskeleton means the bones are originate from the 
mesoderm for example all the vertebrae okay then functions of skeleton this uh, skeletal system provide structure and shape so we have this uh, shape because of the structure of bones only we have this type of structure and it support and surrounds the internal organs of the body the main body organs internal body organs are located inside the uh, bones like brain is located inside our skull the skull uh, gives this skull provide protection to the brain and lungs and heart are located inside the rib cage so that rib, rib cage act as a protection to the uh, what lungs and heart they it supports and surrounds the internal organs of the body then calcium and phosphorus calcium and phosphorus are the important minerals to regulate the proper functioning of the bones if the bones want to be strong enough the rigidness all those things are because of the calcium and phosphorus which is present in the bone which gives these minerals gives strength and also it maintains the regular functions of the bones rbc produced in the bone marrow rbc means red blood cells rbc means red blood cells which is pro uh, produced in the bone marrow uh, inside the bone inside the some of the bones like hip bone and thigh bone bone marrow is present bone marrow means a spongy like tissues are present inside the bones that is what called as a bone marrow this bone marrow consists stem cells that stem cells only developed as a red blood cells they are red in color they have the pigment of pigmentation of red so because of the pigment red pigmentation only our blood appears in uh, red in color okay appears our blood is, uh, blood appears red in color okay so rbc only uh, so this bone marrow produce rbc cells red blood cells then it is act like a liver what is mean by liver liver means it is a simple machine uh, which is used to lift the heavy object or pull uh, and push the heavy of heavy weight heavy load so for that case we are using the liver it is a simple machine here our bones are acting as a liver for muscular action so that muscles are heavy so to do the muscular action which one act as a liver our bones act as a liver to do the muscular actions then muscular movement would not be possible without cartilage without a tendon and ligaments because the tendon and ligaments only connect the two bones together so without the joint the movement will not be take place if we have the single structure of bone means the movement will not be possible because the 206 bones are jointed by the connective tissues tendon and ligaments this is how the joint because of the joints only the movement will be happening happen okay so um, i hope this video will be useful for you all we will see the continuation of this lesson in the next video thank you subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update